Okay, so I thought I would um, do some sewing with my treadle machine. Um, <laughs> haven't done that in a while. It has sat for a while, and I kind of felt bad about that. Um, but I wanted to uh, give it a go at sewing some dolls on the treadle machine. So, you know, I have an antique uh, Singer treadle sewing machine that I restored and it, I believe it was from 1925 so it's almost a hundred years old and uh, anyway so yeah uh, I wanted to give it a try and so I was given a um, <laughs> what do you call them a huge roll of canvas which is this um, it's very thick I believe it's cotton and um, it was in someone's garage and <coughs> um, so the outer layer or outer part of it um, was a little bit um, dirty so I thought I would use that to practice on um, because I have not sewn on the treadle machine for a while I was afraid I had forgotten how to do it but to my surprise and great delight uh, it it was okay I was able to still do it however <laughs> um, sewing on a treadle machine it is not electric you it has a pedal and you uh, pedal it with your feet now that makes it a little bit trickier um, at starting and stopping um, so like on a normal sewing machine you have um, a little reverse button if you want to sew backwards. If you want to sew forward, you just use either a foot pedal um, or some of the some other ones have like a, a button at the top, I think. Um, anyway, so mine is a foot pedal. All you have to do is push it and you and you go. Um, of course, there's a little dial um, to adjust the stitches. Um, there's zigzag stitch, straight stitch, you can adjust the size of your stitch, all those things, components of sewing. On a treadle machine, <laughs> there's a rhythm, almost like riding a bike. You can't just go, you have to get on it and, and balance and get your feet going and steer and all of these things. Anyway, so <laughs> I thought I would practice and I drew some, uh, I wanted to make a rabbit, let's say, okay? So I drew um, some hands and feet, and I tried sewing on the treadle machine. So, too well, but there is the hand I tried first, and <laughs> did not go as well as I had thought it would. I'm gonna try the paw, or the foot now, that's the foot. I'm gonna go try that now and we'll see how that goes hopefully it'll go better but I'm so glad I'm practicing instead of just jumping in and in in ruining fabric because this is good this is good stuff and uh, I can use it for lots of different things so I'm really excited to have this so why don't you come along with me and we'll see how it goes okay okay So here we are, we're going to give this a try. Oh, look at this. Oh, 
Okay, so this turned out a little bit better than I thought. That's good. Okay, so I have the arm and the leg sewn out. What I tried to do this time um, to kind of do a back stitch. Um, so what I did was when I got up here, I just raised the presser foot up, turned my fabric around and went back down to about here. So that kind of does the locking stitch so it does not come unraveled. Um, I learned that trick <laughs> from another YouTuber. Um, so anyway, again, this is just practice. So now I'm going to cut out, cut these out, and I'm going to turn them around and show you how I stuff the arms and the legs. <laughs> this is gonna be the weirdest looking bunny. I still have to do the head and the ears and the body, um, but uh, I thought I would start with the arms and legs first just to see how it goes. But I am so excited to be sewing with my treadle. It is so quiet and I love the uh, sound of the, the wheel going and uh, I don't know it's just so pretty okay so almost done this is the foot as you can see I'm not following a pattern this is just my own creation <laughs> and I am seeing how big this foot is compared to the other foot and this is going to be a very sad bunny this is going to be a Abby original. <laughs> okay, there we go. And this has some marks on it from the other side. But okay, okay. So I'm gonna turn these inside out and I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. So, okay. Okay, so I cheated just a little bit. I decided to get out my Janome and <laughs> okay, so I got out my Janome and I decided to go ahead and just reinforce. I used black thread so I could tell where my stitches were, but I just reinforced the edges here on all the pieces. Now I can cut off all the strings and not worry about it unraveling while I'm um, stuffing them. Um, and then I need to make the body and the ears. Yes. <laughs> Just going to be a very interesting bunny. <laughs> Thank you. 